revealing more about the person they say is behind today's shooting at a high school in California. We know that two people are dead and at this hour, several others are fighting to survive. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska is live with new details about the condition of those victims tonight. Michael. Jameson, it's been a long day today and it's going to be an extremely long night. As you mentioned, those two students fighting for their lives are still listed tonight in critical condition. Happening right now, a candlelight vigil, shocked faces still trying to comprehend the violence that took place in their community just hours earlier. We've got an active shooter at Saugus High School. We need all units to respond. Sheriff's deputies rush into Saugus High School for an all too familiar call. We grabbed our friends and we, we just ran. Gunfire disrupting the early morning hours at the school in Santa Clarita, just north of Los Angeles. Everyone was panicked. We turned off the lights, we locked the doors, and then we all just sat and waited. Scared students sending the kind of text no parent ever wants to get, like this one saying, everyone is saying there's a shooter on campus. I don't know what's going on, but I love you and dad so much. Authorities clearing the building, students walking out single file to safety, and worried parents waiting to hear if their kids are okay. This is stressful and... Overwhelming. Police confirming at least two people are dead. Other students were injured, at least two more in critical condition. The suspect among those injured suffering a self-inflicted gunshot wound, according to police. A motive still unclear. He is identified as a 16-year-old male whose birthday is today. The weapon that he used was recovered at the scene. It's a 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol which had no more rounds in it. The entire Santa Clarita community in shock tonight. We're horrified. This is a great community, and for something like this, it, it's too close to home. And we know tonight that even though first responders tried to rush those students, those victims that were shot to the hospital, a 16-year-old girl that arrived, she died shortly after getting to the hospital. Her parents were by her side. Then a 14-year-old boy that was shot died a short time later. The shooter, whose name we are not releasing, is listed tonight in grave condition. We're live in the Satellite News Center. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News. So sad. Thank you, Michael.